Good morning, LCM. It is day 27 of a day at LCM today, September the 28th of 2011. It is slightly before 7 o'clock in the morning, and we are setting up for see you at the pole right now. A bunch of hard no, keep going. A bunch of hard workers through here. No, I'm just gonna move it And this is 30 minutes before it actually starts. Uh, yeah. He says in Colossians 4, verse 2, he says, look, devote yourselves to prayer. You know, today is awesome, and we love to see every one of you gathering today and, and being a part of this. But we want you to know that God wants us to be devoted to prayer. He says, devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful. So as we come today and we pray, he is asking us to, look, pray, listen, ask God to do great things. But now it's time for you to be watchful. As you go throughout your school day today, as you go throughout your week this month, this year, he says, devote yourself to prayer and be watchful. Be watchful for what? Answered prayer. As we pray, as we ask God to move in our lives and move around here and, and give us opportunities to share his love, Zephaniah says that, look, God delights in us. I mean, he, he rejoices, which means he dances over us. And there's great news that many, many people need to hear about Jesus. And so as we devote ourselves to pray and we look for those opportunities, we are watchful just like the, the watchtower guys. That's the same word that Paul uses. They would sit on the fence and they would be so alert and attentive to everything that was going around them. They would look for the enemy and they would look for things coming around. And they were watchful. That was their number one job was to watch. And so Paul says, look, you, us, we, devote ourselves to prayer, to pray continually, to ask God to move, and then be watchful. And then in verse 5 he says, and look, not just devote and pray, but make the most of every opportunity. So every time God gives you, opens a door, and gives you an opportunity to share about him, we are asked to make the most of it. When God moves in people's hearts, that you are the answer to your own prayer. Because you know when we pay, pray for patience, God doesn't just give us patience. What does he do? He gives us opportunities to be patient. 
when we pray for courage, God doesn't just make us courageous. What does He do? He gives us opportunity to be courageous. And so when we pray for God to move in people's hearts, to move in this school, He doesn't just make it happen. He is giving you the opportunity to see that His name is made known and famous here at Little Cycle High School. Guys, I pray that you swing today. That is, that is my heart's desire. That all of you, that you, you walk through this school today and you look for those doors, those opportunities that God is giving you and that, you know, you just, you know what, I'm just going to grit my teeth and I'm going to tell them how much Jesus loves me. I'm just going to grit my teeth and I'm going to share with them what God has done in my heart. I'm just going to grit my teeth and I'm going to invite them to church. I'm just going to swing. Will you just swing for Christ today? Who are we That you would be mindful of us what do you see that's worth looking our way? We are free in ways that we never should be. Sweet relief from the grip of these chains. guys all you saw in today's video was see you at the poll stuff because see you at the poll was a very very big event today we had over 300 people this morning weather was burning up i was sweating like a pig all day well all this morning anyways i'm all cool off now even though it's still 95 degrees out here i guess that's kind of cooler than usual anyways this has been a day at lcm day 27 uh september the 28th 2011 Thanks guys for coming to see you at the poll. And any key clubbers out there, we have a key club meeting tomorrow morning, eight o'clock in Mr. Cox's room. Thanks guys, and I will see you tomorrow.